Hi everybody, it's Todd Bartusik with Berkshire Hathaway Real Estate and the All Metro Real Estate Group. So coming to you again with your April market report for District 66. So, um, you know, we've got a lot of activity in the district right now. So this is overall. So we had 29 units sell in March. We had 29 in April, so we'd stayed you know, you know, consistent there. Um, our prices are up across the board, 6%. Our average sale price in March was 399, 342. Our average sale price in April, 423,000 and some change. So that's up 6%. Our days on market even dropped. We went from 15 to 11. So what that tells me is that District 66 is very, very desirable. Uh, and I know this for the fact that we have very low inventory. So if you are thinking about selling, get your house on the market, call me, let's, let's come up with a, an intelligent pricing strategy. Let's look at what we might need to do to the house so that we can have you know, uh, the best possible you know, impressions when somebody walks in the door because we get one chance at it. So anyways, that's the overall up 6% across the board. Um, now I'd like to talk about the first time home buyer price point. Um, that's zero to 350,000. So we had 18 units sell in March. We had 16 sell in April. Um, our price point in the first time home buyer price point went from 254 to about 263.5. So up about three and a half percent. Um, so again, we're seeing this continuing to happen. Not spikes like this during COVID, but if we're looking at two and 3% a month, and that won't stay all the way through the entire year, but this is what, I mean, this is what a, a, a healthy, active real estate market does. I mean, it's gonna, it's gonna be very active in the spring, slow down a little bit in the summer, and we'll pick back up in the fall. I mean, typically, now it is an election year, so we don't totally know what's gonna happen because usually we see some strange things, you know, some, some lighter activity in, uh, in, in election years. But anyways, um, so we have good things going. So the next segment I like to talk about is the move up. That's 350 to 750. So we had eight units sell in March, we had nine sell in April. So that was up 12 and a half percent. Price points was down about almost 10%. Uh, we went from 488 in April down to 440,000, or excuse me, 488 in March down to 440,000 in April. And really what I attribute that to is when we have, you know, what I like to call grandma's ranch or grandma's house that she's been in for 30 years. You know, depending on the size of those houses, a lot of times I see that grandma's ranch fall in between that four to five hundred thousand dollar range because of the area, the size of it. Um, you know, and so what happens is if we have a house that needs carpet and paint, or we need some repairs, we need some you know some lawn and landscape work done. Um, that's where we're seeing maybe some opportunities for buyers um, if the house is not dialed in. Um, now, a lot of times, you know, grandma's ranch or, or an estate sale or whatever the case may be, um, they are just listed as is, and that's okay too. Um, you know, it just really kind of depends, but that's why I think I'm seeing in, the, in, this, in this move up price point where we're seeing some, some drops overall. So, but that will not stay consistent throughout the year. Uh, so the next segment I like to talk about is the luxury market. That's 750 plus. So we had three in March, we had four in April. Um, and we went from an average sale price in March of a million thirty-five thousand to a million twenty-four thousand in April. So down one percent. Um, nothing really speakable uh, to mention there. So, um, but overall, guys, active market. Uh, if you are a District 66 homeowner and you have any thoughts of selling in the next six to twelve months give me a call. Let's talk about an intelligent pricing strategy. Let's talk about if there's anything that, you know, needs to be done to the house um, to, you know, really attract the buyers and get top dollar. Uh, you know, put my 24 years to work for you. Uh, I'm lifelong District 66 resident. Uh, I am here to help you, no obligation. So if you like what you see here with the statistics that I'm providing every month with the District 66 market, please follow me on social media and remember to please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.